So build update, we just put the flooring in, it took about three hours, two hours. That's why you don't go too cheap on the vinyl. Anyways, uh, I'll show you what we used. All it takes is a piece of paper, <laughs> get, get the shape, put the piece of paper onto some cardboard. That's the angle we needed to make the diagonal cuts. And then from there we would cut it with scissors. They say razor knife, but close enough. We use this sparingly. Yeah, we use that at the edge over there just to kind of match. Yeah. Make sure. Pencil to mark, and then the rest was all click lock. This was super helpful. Um, trying to get pieces to slide in together. Yeah. You're really supposed to use a mallet. Yeah. That worked really good, though, because it was yeah. small. Yeah, small enough to work, plus you could use an end piece like that. Yeah. So, in the new trailer, we have beautiful new flooring. We'll probably use big stretch caulk on the outside um, and maybe some shoe mold. Big thing is we chose vinyl because it's waterproof. And uh, that's a big deal, having waterproof stuff. But it looks really, really good. We also have the frame for the bed up. We're trying to work out kind of all the shelves around it, but that's, that's where we stand as of today. Got a little bit of electric in, and we'll probably do some insulation before the day's over. New vent. What was the key joke? The common joke of this flooring. Don't worry, it'll get covered up by. <laughs> by the fridge, it'll get covered up by the oven, it'll get covered up by the couch, it'll get covered up by the bed, it'll get covered up, it'll get covered up. Oh, and we're gonna put a rug in here, so we literally did not need to do this. <laughs> I love it and I think it looks great and I'm happy to know that if anything spills in the cabinets or in the garage area or in the bathroom, it is wipeable and waterproof. Great. <laughs>